This month of November, while it is the second to last month in the secular calendar, is the final month of the church year. The month of December brings us the season of Advent, a new year in the church and a season of new beginnings. But this month of November, as the daylight wanes and the temperatures get colder, invites us to a contemplation of something that few of us ever really enjoy contemplating, and that is death. The consecutive feasts of all saints and all the faithful departed take us straight to the heart of the matter. And of course, we are asked to confront our own mortality, but we are also asked to confront communal mortality. The institutions, the traditions, the cultures, the ways of being that we love and are accustomed to are as fragile and mortal as we are as individuals. And this can be a tough pill to swallow. It can be an especially tough pill to swallow when it comes to something so significant as church. But the fact of the matter is, while Christ himself is eternal and immortal, Christianity, in any of the ways that it is expressed in the mortal world, is not. And so we have to ask ourselves, what is that kernel? What is that key element, that key belief, that key practice that is of such great value to us that we are willing to give whatever it takes to keep it alive, to maintain its life and its witness in this world. Because in the changing sands of this mortal world, everything, even church and our practice of it, is subject to change and eventually death. But there are certain things that are so important that it is incumbent upon us to keep them not only living, but thriving for ourselves and for the generations to come. Friends, I invite you in this season to contemplate what those things are and then to do whatever it takes to keep them alive and thriving.